yes ladies and gentlemen welcome to the mu stand this is your match reaction manchester united 2 nottingham forest now it is all over at old trafford and united are in the carabao cup final after beating nottingham forest 5-0 on, uh, on aggregate i mean we've won the first leg and now we won the second leg so it's just complete domination uh eric ten hag side will face newcastle at wembley on february the 26th for the chance to win his first his first trophy for this team it's gonna be huge guys it's definitely going to be huge bring on wembley i think we're gonna we're gonna win the game i'm not scared of newcastle i'm not scared of uh playing newcastle in the final we are definitely going to win uh, against them and it could definitely be the first trophy for Eric Ten Hag but this game today I mean where do we start where do we start first half obviously it was was a dull game to be honest with you low energy I haven't seen intensity from every single player and which is which is understandable to be honest with you because we've won the first leg three nails so you would expect all these players are not pushing to the maximum they don't want to be uh, injured for the next game uh, the ties set and buried in the first leg so this game was about managing the game managing the tempo and just controlling Nottingham Forest and we did exactly that if you look at the ball possession in the first half we've completely dominated the ball 70 percent I think the total now is 72 percent the final whistle so it just shows it goes it goes to show you how Eric Ten Hag planned on just containing Nottingham Forest and just and just controlling the ball, which means Nottingham Forest can't really hurt you if you if you if you just keep ball possession. Uh how many chances did we create in the first half? I mean, I thought we created one chance for Wake Horse, which Casemiro uh did a beautiful car uh did a, a beautiful cross to Wake Horse. Wake Horse just hits the post um other than that in the first half i don't think we created anything anthony had a shot from outside the box but that's that's really about it um nottingham forest did have a, a chance at goal they did have a shot or goal in the first half and tom heaton was actually called up on that uh he did really well for that for that for that um uh, save but yeah uh first half i thought was pretty even nail nail one one was just about the deserved uh, score line uh in the second half it started off the same way until we made some changes obviously we made some changes we brought in the big guns uh sancho uh came on for anthony uh martial came on for wick host and also uh, rashford came on for ganacho I thought these three players that were taken off, they were pretty average, in my opinion, in the first half. Uh, and, and second half, things just completely changed. As soon as we made those changes, we started to create chances. Hence, that's that's basically how we scored the first goal. First goal was actually scored by Anthony. It was a very good goal. Um, it's Casemiro who, who initially started it off. He started it off with a with a good pass to anthony and anthony passes to rashford rashford tried to control it and try to go for goal but somehow ricocheted into Anthony's feet uh anthony martial's feet and anthony martial just had an easy easy finish and basically that took us uh to, to, that took the uh the, the, the results for one nail um second goal was scored by fred again fred was was set up by Marcus Rashford. Beautiful pass by Bruno Fernandes to find Marcus Rashford in the back post. And Rashford was unselfish there to just glance it over to uh, Fred and Fred with the tap in. We scored two easy goals, guys. We, we scored two easy, uh, good goals today. I thought the team deserves to win today, tonight. Uh, everybody everybody besides i don't know everybody did okay uh it's not something to complain about have we seen the best of man united today i don't think we have i don't think we have but again sometimes football is about getting results and uh, getting the job done and getting into the final uh, which is 
which is exactly what we did. We, 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 we set out the team to go and get a result and put us in the final and we did exactly uh, that. In terms of uh, man of the match, okay, so who was my man of the match? I would, I would say Bruno Fernandez. I thought Bruno Fernandez, you know, did well. I mean, he has been superb. We talked about setting standards in this in this team. We talked about mentality in this team, and he is a driving force for this uh, for this group uh, alongside Casemiro. I mean, he. He has led the way tonight. Outstanding, outstanding performance by Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes. But I'll just probably edge towards giving it uh, to Bruno Fernandes. Uh, let's not forget, he did have a couple of chances uh, to pass to Anthony Martial, where Bruno Fernandes should have passed, but he just went for goal selfishly. But other than that, I thought he was, he was decent all around uh, tonight's game. Obviously, United are celebrating reaching Wembley. Forrest gave a good account of themselves, uh, but as well as, you know, the outstanding Casemiro. The introduction, like I said, the introduction of Rashford and Martial made a difference as things quicken up the moment they got on the pitch. So, uh, big, big call by, uh, it's not a big call, but good decision by Eric Ten Hag again. Uh, making the right substitutions. Uh, in the past, we've We've complained about Ten Hag not making the right choices, but it, to the, tonight I think he got it right. He made the right choices at the right time, and uh, the, the changes, the subs that came on, uh, and made a difference in this match. They made a, a difference in this match, which is the reason why we we won the game. Um, obviously now Eric Ten Hag is 90 minutes away. 90 minutes away from winning United's trophy, first trophy. I mean, since 2007, the last time we won a trophy is 2017. 2017, that's barely five years or six years ago. So it's about time we need we need some trophy in this team. And Manchester United is all about winning trophies. It's not about finishing top four. It's about actually winning a trophy. And Eric Ten Hag could, could deliver that for this team. And what, what an opportunity for him to play against Newcastle, which is not a very strong team compared to Man City or Arsenal. They're not a big team. They are playing really well. Let's not get that wrong. Newcastle are flying in the Premier League, but from at the start of the season, if somebody tells you you're going to play Newcastle in the final, you would take it all away. You would definitely take it. So I think playing Newcastle is not a concern. And I think we're going to win. I think we're going to win against Newcastle. And I think Eric Ten Hag is going to get his first trophy. His, his first trophy uh, this season. Uh, but yeah, that has been my match reaction, guys. What do you guys think about this game? Let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. And don't forget to smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And yes, I'll see you guys in the next one. We are going to Webley. Peace.